Hello everyone and welcome to the Champions Hockey League group stage draw for the season 21-22. Coming to you live from Zurich. My name is Anit Fetscherin and I'm going to be your host tonight. Following a season-long pause from European competition. We are so excited to be back and we are ready to bring you Europe's best club hockey action with all newly qualified teams following the successful conclusions to the domestic seasons across Europe's best national leagues. We are just about to find out which of the 32 teams are going to face each other. But first, let's take a look at the action that we missed so much and to which we are looking forward to this year. As the teams will be able to once again pursue the ultimate goal of becoming champions of Europe. Joining us now here in the studio is the CHL president Peter Zander and CEO Martin Baumann. Welcome. Good evening. Peter, you have seen those pictures of the past six seasons. Great images. Um, how do they whet your appetite for more CHL? Yeah, you know, after one season completely without Champions Hockey League, it's uh, very good to be back on stage. It's so important for the product itself, but also for uh, the teams, for the coaches, for the players, for the fans, for the media and everybody involved. So it's good to be back. We are going to see five completely new teams competing for the first time in the CHL. What do you expect from them, Martin? Well, new teams are always great and have a great opportunity for our product. And uh, I'm really looking forward to, to see them all. And if I can highlight two of them, then it's definitely Lexand from Sweden and uh, Bremerhaven from Germany, because their fans totally went through the roof. They went so crazy when they were qualified. If I look at those teams which were already in the past with Champions League, then I'm following definitely Sparta, Prague and Fribourg Cotro. Both of them were in the semis, but afterwards passed uh, from the map uh, since quite a while. This season's group stage draw comes with a special rule because of the final Olympic qualification tournament that's scheduled to take place on the very same weekend as the CHL season opening game days. Please, Peter, can you explain to us what's behind these rules? Yeah, because of the pandemic, uh, also the final Olympic qualification tournament has to be or had to be postponed. So we had to find a solution together with the IHF and all the involved nations, also with the involved leagues and clubs. And we are happy that we found a solution so that all the national teams have their best roster to play the Olympic qualification because that's so important. 
And uh, now we start the Champions Hockey League the same weekends as the uh, Olympic qualification tournament. But those teams who have national teams playing in the Olympic qualification, we have to find new dates for them, alternative dates. And uh, so uh, this, this has had been possible. So COVID-19 is still quite present these days and will surely not be eradicated by August when the season starts. Um, how does this ongoing situation actually affect CHL? Well, it still affects us on a day-to-day -day basis. I mean, it affects the economics, it affects uh, our day life, uh, but as well uh, sport. And uh, But we learned a lot and uh, we learned to cope with, uh, with the whole situation. We are preparing uh, uh, concepts to, to work with, to, to make sure that we have a safe environment for players, staff and everything uh, in our tournament. And I think that's quite important. And on top of that, I mean, yeah, we strongly believe that we can start uh, on August 26. Uh, I think the whole situation is, is getting better and better. But on the other hand, we're also not naive. I mean, uh, I think it's important that we have plan B in our hand uh, to make sure that, uh, that this will start in August. Thank you very much for the moment. Martin and Peter, we're going to see each other later on in the show. Let us now take a look at the 32 teams and their pot allocations. Hailing from 14 countries, the teams are divided into five seeded pots. Pots one through four contain six teams each based on the strength of the national leagues according to the CHL ranking system. Teams in this pool also include Junos Minsk and Cardiff Devils as the two highest ranked teams from the Challenger Leagues, along with Sünder Juske as the IIHF Continental Cup winners. The remaining eight teams, either participating as wildcard team or hailing from nations, participating in the final Olympic qualification tournament for the 22 Beijing Winter Olympic Games, will be allocated to pot five together and will be first drawn to form their own two groups. But more on the rules and the procedures for the draw later on in this program. Before we introduce today's special guest, we want to ask you out there, what do you think? As we have two online polls open right now for us, uh, for you to let us know which of the first time participants do you think will be the surprise team of the season? And second, from which country do you think the Champions Hockey League winners of this season is going to hail from. Visit championshockeyleague.com to place your votes now and join the conversation. And now for our first guest, Lara Stalder. Lara Stalder is a Swiss ice hockey player hailing from Lucerne. The 26-year-old currently plays for Brines EF in the Swedish Women's Hockey League, where they became runners-up in 2021. Stalder has most recently won her second consecutive MVP title by scoring 82 points in 36 games this past season. In 2014, she won the bronze medal with the Swiss national team in the Winter Olympic Games in Sochi. Welcome, Lara. Thanks for having me. Well, first of all, of course, congratulations to your second consecutive um, MVP title in the Swedish Women's Hockey League. What's, what does this award mean to you? Yeah, I mean, for me, it's a big honor. In the end, I play a team sport and obviously we came short. I want to win titles with the team, but yeah, this MVP means a lot. It motivates me to keep going and fighting for the next title, yeah. You currently play for Brynäs in Sweden. You also work there for the club. Um, can you give us a picture of how your everyday life actually looks like? Yeah, exactly. Like you said, it's 50-50. In the mornings I go to the office or now it's home office. I work 50% for the club with the partners, but also with sustainability. And then I, I go home, have lunch, and then I come back as the hockey player to the rink. And of course, you're experienced um, in competing on an international level as an athlete. What would you say are actually the benefits that come with international competition? Yeah, I think it's huge if you can compare yourself to other international clubs or players and you always know where you're at and what you're doing and you always look forward to those big tournaments and you want to compete against the best in the world. 
So Brines didn't qualify for the CHL this season. Is there any other team that gets your special support? Yeah, unfortunately not Brines, but um, growing up I always uh, looked towards Tug. It's close to Lucerne and yeah, I had my idols there and therefore uh, I, I cheer a little bit for Tug. Very well, thanks again uh, for helping us with the draw today. As we now come closer to the draw, we are going to take a closer look at the technical rules and procedures. The 2021-2022 Champions Hockey League group stage draw. 32 teams will be drawn into eight groups of four. Teams will be seeded into five pots. To support the national teams participating in the final Olympic qualification tournament, eight teams from the involved countries are allocated into their own pot, pot number five, and will not play their CHL games during the FOQ tournament on the weekend of the 26th to the 29th of August, but on an alternate weekend instead. The other 24 teams will be allocated into four pots and drawn by the standard procedure. They will be seeded according to the CHL ranking, a combination of their performance in the domestic league and the ranking of the league itself. Pot 1 will have the CHL champions and the national champions of the shareholder leagues. Pot 2 will have the regular season winners of the shareholder leagues and the top-ranked regular season runners-up of the shareholder leagues. Pot 3 and 4 will be filled with the other qualified teams from the shareholder leagues, as well as the teams of the two highest ranked challenger leagues and the IIHF Continental Cup winners. During the draw procedure, all teams from Pot 5, containing teams from nations involved in the FOQ tournament, will first be drawn into two groups of four. No league protection applies for these teams. For the other teams, the standard procedure is applied. The 24 teams will be seeded into four pots and drawn into six groups. Pot 4 will be drawn first. Pot 1 with the highest ranked teams will be drawn last. Two teams from the same league must not be drawn into the same group. When such a league conflict occurs, the drawn team will be moved to the next available group, whilst the next team drawn will go to the previous group. After the draw, the complex scheduling process for the group stage takes place, fitting all the needs of involved parties such as clubs, arenas, broadcasters and leagues. The final schedule is published shortly after the draw on championshockeyleague.com. We're just about ready to start, but we actually have two surprise guests joining us live here, all the way from France and Sweden. Guy Fournier, general manager of Rouen Dragon and Rügle Engelholm head coach Cam Abbott. It's great to have you guys with us tonight. Thanks for having me. Okay. Thank you. Welcome back to the CHL. You must have great memories of Rouen's last campaign when you guys became the fr first French team to reach the CHL playoffs. Yes, of course. The CHL is a great experience for us. Uh, first of all, for, for the players, give them the, the opportunity to compete with the best uh, clubs in Europe. It's always very exciting for them. Secondly, for our fans and sponsors, they're very happy to have a host in their home building. They have those teams and high level hockey uh, in their building, you know. And also, of course, for our organization, uh, the last campaign, we, uh, we, we played some very high class, high class club that give us the, the, the chance to, to share with them their work uh, at Carpatolu, they, they host our, all our coaching staff to talk about development of young hockey player in Salzburg. We visit all their facilities. So that's helping clubs like us to grow up a little bit in our organization. Cam, I'm sure you have great memories of competing in the CHL yourself, especially as you have won it as a player um, back in 2015. How was that? Uh, it's first off, it's a fantastic competition. I think we uh, were fortunate to, to play in it for a few years when I played in Luleå, Sweden, and to win in 2015. Um, 
it's a uh, it's a great chance to play against the best competition around Europe outside of Sweden and uh, and from within Sweden. Uh, and I very much enjoyed every chance we had. What can we expect from your team this upcoming season, Guy? Well, uh, last campaign we had, uh, we were out of that first round. So, of course, we'll, we'll try to work hard this year to build another uh, competitive uh, team as much as we can. And uh, why not make another little surprise? We like surprises always. Um, Cam, Rögle is one of the newcomers to the CHL. Having just finished its most successful SHL season ever, what do European ice hockey fans need to know about your team and Engelholm? Uh, they need to know that we're approaching this uh, Champions Hockey League to win it, um, that we uh, have been on a journey as an organization, that we are looking to uh, continue to establish ourselves as a uh, a team to, to beat in Sweden and to be uh, regarded as uh, in the conversation with the top clubs um, and we're looking to take that reputation that we're trying to build uh, abroad and make sure that uh, we expose ourselves to the, uh, the rest of Europe and uh, show them who we are. And now we have a question for each of you coming directly from the fans. Guy Fournier, um, Mathieu Tonnerre would like to know if you think countries like France, Norway and Denmark should get more teams in uh, the CHL like Sweden, Germany or Austria. Yeah, Mathieu, Mathieu is very nice to think about us, but uh, honestly, we're very pleased that the French hockey's got one spot in the CHL, and I essentially think that uh, that that spot is earning by the champion of the of the French hockey, and that's a big challenge to have the CHL sport. Uh, uh, of uh, of course, all the clubs they're battling very hard. To, to have the national title, but it's also a, a big plus to have that CHL spot for the next season. Okay, and Cam Rögel supporter Liam Nielsen, who wishes you, of course, the best of luck, has asked, how do you think Rögel will handle teams from other countries with different playing styles that they are used to? Uh, well, thanks, Liam, first for the support and also for the thoughtful question, I think. We continue to find a balance between uh, learning about our opponents, especially those that we're not familiar with, and also making uh, making those teams uh, adjust to how we play. I think Swedish hockey and the way we've chosen to play as a team um, need to be uh, need to be respected, and uh, they can make adjustments as to our game. Um, so it's it's always a balance, but uh, we're certainly excited to uh, face whoever we get. That's great, guys. Thanks for joining us and, of course, all the best of luck for your teams today. Now, let us take a quick look at the results from our first poll. The question was, which of the newcomer team will probably be one of the most surprising teams? That's what you think about it. It will be a Rögle. Yeah, let's ask... Martin Baumann, what do you think about that? Well, quite a surprise. No, I'm joking. Uh, it's pretty <laughs> obvious. I mean, their fan base, they are the first time in the Champions Hockey League. They were qualified last year, but we couldn't play. So, yeah, no wonder uh, they made it. And uh, really looking forward how they play and uh, how they go through everything. OK, so now we are ready to start with the draw as we are joined by the CHL Sports Director Alex Jäger to oversee the procedure and also Martin Hütte to witness the CHL's appointed notary. Are we good to go? Yeah, of course. we're good to go. Very well. OK, then, Lara, would you please start and draw the first pack of pot number five? Rungstedt Sire Capital from Denmark. Rungstedt Sire Capitals from Denmark qualified as Denmark's national champions. Joster Chevier from Poland. Jaster Szebie from Poland are one of the newcomer teams to the CHL. They just won their first national title in club 
history. Rouen Dragon from France. Rouen Dragon. He Fournier's team qualified as national champions and already won 16 national titles. Red Bull Salzburg from Austria. Red Bull Salzburg, the Austrian team, was in the semi-finals in 2019. Klagenfurt from Austria. KAC Klagenfurt is the most successful club in history of Austrian ice hockey, won 32 national titles. Frisk Asker from Norway. Frisk Asker qualified as Norway's regular season winners. Donbass Donetsk from Ukraine. Donbass Donetsk Ukrainian team. It is their first participation in the CHL and it actually is the first participation of an Ukrainian team at all. And the last one. Bolzano from Italy. Bolzano from Italy. It is the only Italian team playing in the CHL. So that means the first two groups are complete. Group G and Group H. And we see also that Guy Fournier's team, Rouen Dragon, has been chosen to be in Group G with Rungstedtseyer Capitals, Rouen Dragon, KAC Klagenfurt and HC Donbass Donetsk. Guy, what do you think about your group? Well, it's all good clubs eh, in a way, so it, uh, that's the draw. So we, we're going to work hard to compete and to get ready for that nice competition. Sounds good. Thanks for this. And we are going on with the next pot, pot number four and Martin. Thank you. From Germany, Penguin Bremerhaven. Penguins Bremerhaven from Germany is a newcomer team in the Champions Hockey League. ZSC Lions from Switzerland. ZSC Lions qualified as fifth placed team in the regular season one, the old CHL format in 2009. Correct. Cardiff Devils from UK. Cardiff Devils qualified as the regular season's leader of last year as no season has been played in England. Sonderjuske Voyens from Denmark. Sonderjuske Voyens Continental Cup winners. Tappara Tampere from Finland. Tappara Tampere plays already his seventh CHL season. And finally, Junos Minsk from Belarus. Junos Minsk are the national champions in Belarus. That's it. Very well, that has been pot four. And we go on with pot number three and Peter Zahner. TPS Turku, Finland. 
Turku from Finland. For them, it's the sixth participation in the CHL. Mlada Boleslav, Czech Republic. Mlada Boleslav from Czech Republic, as you said, they have won no national title so far. Lausanne Hockey Club, Switzerland. Lausanne HC qualified as Switzerland's regular season fourth placed team. Red Bull Munich, Germany. Red Bull Munich, they were in the quarterfinals in the season 1920. Sheleftia, Sweden. Sheleftia, they reached the semi finals seven times so far. And the last one from pot number three, Fribourg Otteron, Switzerland. Fribourg Otteron, Fribourg is back after an absence of three seasons. Thank you, Peter. And we go on on the other side with Martin and pot two. Thank you. AFK Helsinki from Finland. Helsinki. And there we have a clash and Alex is here to explain what happened here. Thank you. Yeah, we have in Group A already TPS Turku. So therefore Helsinki needs to be moved to Group B. Helsinki goes to Group B. They participated already six times in the CHL. And we go on. Adler Mannheim from Germany. Adler Mannheim, the German team, won eight national titles so far and we have another clash. Yeah, we have another clash. In Group A we have Penguins Bremerhaven already, therefore Mannheim needs to be moved again and so they go into Group C. Thanks that we have Alex. Yeah, Adler Mannheim go to Group C and we go on. Sparta Prague from Czech Republic. Sparta Prague qualified as the regular season's winner from Czech Republic. HC Lugano from Switzerland. HC Lugano qualified as regular season's runners up but here we have another clash. We have another clash, which is not so easy, as in Group D is not, you know, with Red Bull and Sonoyuski would be a right place. But with the remaining teams in the pot, there's no other chance than to move them into Group E. So they go to Group E with Sheleftia and Tapara Tampere, and we have two packs left. To, to go. from Sweden, Rögle. Rögle Engelholm. So here we have Cam Abbott's team. They are new in the CHL. And finally, the last one. As well, a new team from Sweden, Lexand. Lexand EF from Sweden. For them, it's the first CHL participation. So we don't have the groups fully complete, but we can already see in which direction it is going. Um, let's first have a look at Group B, where the Sete Lions are in with Helsinki and Mlada Boleslav. Peter, which opponent would you prefer? Because one is still missing. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's... Uh... 
there's so many top teams uh, participating in the Champions Hockey League and the groups are so equal. Only two teams will qualify and go to the playoff stage. It's anyway a tough race. So um, I guess everybody takes the opponent he gets. Okay, and we also have a look at Group D, where Cam Abbott's uh, Rögle Engelholm is in with Red Bull Munich and Sunder Yuske Wojens. Cam, are you still with us? And what do you say about your group so far? Yeah, excited. I am. Uh, I think Munich has uh, been a top team in, in the German league there, and uh, we've got a good understanding of how they play. And looking forward to getting over to Denmark as well. So I'm um, excited so far. Very well. So are we. And so we go on with the draw and with pot one. And Peter, please. We have Växjö Lakers, Sweden. Växjö Lakers from Sweden, the finalists of 2018. Lukorauma, Finland. Lukorauma, as well known in the CHL as they were in the semi finals 2016, but they don't go to Group B, there will be a clash. Yeah, Helsinki is in Group B as a Finnish team, so therefore they need to be moved to Group C. So we have a free spot in Group B. Who wants to go in there? Frölunda Indians, Sweden. Frölunda Indians, the most successful team in the history of CHL. They won four titles and qualified as the winners of 1920 CHL season. Eisbären Berlin, Germany. Eisbären Berlin, there we have another clash. Yeah. So, oh, <laughs> Red Bull Munich is in Group D, therefore we need to move them to Group E. They go to Group E with Lugano, Szeleftia and Stappara Tampere. If I took Switzerland. If I took the Swiss champions already participated seven times in the CHL. And we have one last puck left. Yeah, the last one is uh, Trinec, Czech Republic. Ocelarsi Cinec qualified as national champions from Czech Republic. It's their sixth qualification in seven seasons. So there we have it, all eight groups. Martin. If you have a quick look at it, which of the groups is your favorite? Well, uh, actually, I'm the Cinderella favorite uh, guy, and uh, I'm following Bremerhaven heavily, and uh, that is definitely a tough group with uh, Sparta Prague, uh, TPS Turco, and Vecchio. So this group is uh, definitely one to follow, and uh, there are other very interesting pairings. It's uh, quite amazing what we just see here on the screens. Group A, a very exciting group. Lara, which of the groups do you find the most interesting one? Yeah, I, I look at it a little bit from Tuuk. So Group B, would that be? And facing Rögle, which is a newcomer, but um, as many other people said, that they can upset maybe this year. So it's going to be a good matchup early on. Very well. And here again are your groups of the season 21-22. With a full season of the best European hockey ahead of us, we have much to look forward to as the teams can now set off on their quests to become champions of Europe. And speaking of which, we are now going to have a look at what you think from which country the next winners of the Champions Hockey League are going to hail from. That's the result from our second poll. 45% of you out there think that 
The winner will be from Sweden, 14% from Switzerland, 12 voted for Ch Germany, 9 for the Czech Republic and also 9% for Finland. The fans have spoken. What do you think, Martin? Are they right? Well, according to our ranking, it's not a big surprise. Uh, Sweden with 45% in front. It's, it's pretty normal, but I actually, to be honest, I would like or wish that uh, why not Germany or Czech or the Finns uh, make it all up to the final. I think it would be great for our tournament if we have this year another champion and why not uh, of one of those three countries. Cam, what do you think? 45% voted for a Swedish team as the champion. I feel that uh, they... they uh, Probably have history suggesting that with with Verlunda winning so many times and uh, other Swedish clubs, but uh, that's not to underestimate some of the teams that are in this from Switzerland or Germany or Finland. I think it's pretty wide open. Um, there's a lot of good groups there. Okay, thank you very much. We can't wait to see if the fans were right. Come next January when we know who the semi-finalists are. As the new season opens up on August 26th, you can, in the meantime, find all the official details, fixtures, as well as information on the teams and on the players on our website, championshockeyleague.com. And also make sure to find all the latest news on our Twitter account with the handle at Champions Hockey. So thanks to all of our guests this evening. Thank you. It was a pleasure also to the ones in France and Sweden and of course as well to all of you at home. From all of us here in Zurich, it is a goodbye for now. What a goal! Let's go!